guys. Welcome back to the Flat Lab. Hello, everybody. Mark and Hi. Trish Carew here with Will. And uh, tonight we're going to try to do something cool. We have some uh, plans set up. If you guys don't know, we are watching the kids for a few nights. we got Alex and Abby. They're and in the Will living room watching they're, the show. Yeah, they're watching it from the living room. On the big screen. And we're also watching my parents' dog, who every time we open the door goes running. His name's Roscoe. It's a good dog, though. But, um, so we got a cool show lined up for you guys, last minute once again, but I have some oh. news, um, the flat news, some flat news, uh, are we going to talk about this yet? Oh, uh, not prepared? Not prepared. Not prepared. Uh, I do want to talk about, uh, VIX MiG-20 again, if you guys haven't seen it, check, 29. 29, sorry, if you haven't seen it, check it out, it came out really cool. He has the Maiden video, which I meant to get on here, but I didn't get a chance to do that. And um, are we doing this? No. I want to talk a little bit about that. Okay, Not ready for that? No. My gosh. Sorry. <laughs> and I also want to talk, about, talk about a project <laughs> that um, that Blind Flight's been working on. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's a, um, anyway, it's a hand launch glider. It's really cool. And he based it off of an old school plan. But I was going to call him tonight and let you guys uh, listen to what he has to say about it. We were going to do kind of like a live phone thing as I go through with the picture. So we'll do that a little bit later. Um, cool. I was talking about Chick-fil-A too. We're going to have a guest. Uh, All companies don't have the Chick-fil-A mindset. And That's so true. It's so ridiculous what's going on with that. I mean... You got your own belief system. Just because people want to live a certain lifestyle does not mean you have to follow that lifestyle. As a matter of fact, you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to stand up for it at all. You can condemn it all you want. It's your prerogative. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. It's just one of those things the media puts in the news to drum up ratings. You know. And we're gonna have a second guest star. Is what you're saying? We are. Hold on one second. Not one guest star, which is odd enough. Cute. Brandy. Brandy. Ow. Brandy. Oh, Brandy. Ow. Brandy, uh, Brandy um, has been under the bed for, I don't know how long, about a week. I'm exaggerating. Let me get Al on and you guys. Um, four days. Yeah. She's not. Um, Roscoe is the other dog that's here. His name. Anyway, he's a big dog. And Brandy's not. Not even one. Roscoe's not, even one Roscoe's not even one yet. Brandy's not a big fan of his. So she's been under the bed, but she came out tonight for the show, didn't she? She's been under the bed until we started the show, and then she was like, hey, it's not mad. Let's get it. <laughs> I got stabbed. Oh. Hey, how's it going, Mel? All right. I think we're getting. Uh, oh, hold on one second. Yeah. I got Al on the line, AKA Blind Flight, from the uh, platform. I'm going to set the phone over here so you, hopefully you guys can hear them. And Al, I was just going to run through some pictures. Al sent me these pictures of this hand launch glider, and I'm just blown away by it. It's a super easy looking build. Uh, am I right about that, Al? Yeah, it's a really good build. It's an old school build uh, designed uh, back in 2001. And they still have uh, some plans available for the original one. Okay, good. Now, you've changed a few things on this build, right? Right. What I did was I've gone to uh, using that new foam mount right now. From the, that foam, uh, uh, the white foam, the quarter inch. And, uh, uh, right. But, uh, I mean, didn't you, you went to foam instead of balsa. I'm trying to get the pictures up now. Give, give me one second here. Um, okay, here we go. I'm going to start from the oldest ones that you sent to the newest ones. If you want to talk a little bit about them, you can go ahead and I'll just switch through them. Okay, uh, basically, the general format I've gone to uh, the new current designs that everybody's using, where they use the, uh, the horizontal in front of the vertical and the rudder. Uh, apparently that uh, tends to be working for a lot of the guys, and I decided, well, you know, let's make it modern. Uh, I'm also using a KF um, 
air, air, uh, airfoil on the top of it. You can see I'm using, uh, I believe it's one sixteenth by one quarter inch uh, carbon fiber spar in it. That's all using... uh, the quarter inch foam. There's the tail hooks. In, in this picture here, are you using the flat carbon, like embedded in the wing? Yes, I am. It's just the uh, one eighth inch, uh, the one sixteenth thick. And quarter inch uh, wide. Okay, did you stick with that on the final build? Pardon me? On, on the final build, did you stick with that flat carbon for the wing? Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's uh, basically just glued in right in there. Okay. I, I gotta uh, say, man, it just looks fantastic. And I know yeah, that you. Picture, well, yeah. Go ahead. This picture here, uh, basically, I took the size of the elevator uh, stabilizer and, and for the rudder I just uh, rounded the bottom part so it's actually a little shorter but just kind of join everything together so it locks in place. I also like the fact that you were talking about how you don't need a lot of down thrust on that and you have um, so you put a notch in the bottom of that elevator. Right there's actually a notch or to where when it does come down you get a little bit more drill on it, uh, and uh, the thickness is probably about uh, a quarter inch where I bump it up just so it sits on top of that top uh, boom. It looks great, man. Thank you. Uh, uh, this picture here, this is actually the uh, picture of the shorter version on the tail boom. After looking at it uh, quite a bit, I decided, I decided that it's too close coupled to the trailing edge of the wing. So I've actually extended out to where for the trailing edge of the wing to the leading edge of the uh, elevator, there's 12 inches. This way, we're going to have a lot more gentle uh, flight with it. Nice. Now, here's uh, one of the newer pictures, right? Right. Uh, uh, there are two wings there. Uh, basically, the front one is the main flat with the ailerons. And the next one to it, I believe, is the the one that was going to make a uh, poly wing. And I uh, just recently sent some more pictures on that. Um, okay. The fuselage is all foam, too. And all I did was I used a, a backer uh, on the foam of 164 plywood just to, you know, like a doubler, just to strengthen it up. Now, it just, is this something that you think you're going to be able to hand launch like they do, like the... Um we got 2.4 ounces. Please, yeah, that, wow. that's the, the weight right now. The uh, total weight of the old version came out to three and a half ounces. So I'm shooting for under five ounces with, you know, ready to fly. That'll be uh, two turbos, uh, two of the, to the Tower Pro ST50 servos, one Spectrum um, AR6100E uh, receiver, and one battery, and that should be it. So I'm hopefully, I'll be under five ounces. Okay. And look, now are you going to be able to grab this and throw it like a discus? Uh, I'm not sh I, yeah, I'm really not sure about that. I'd uh, be really like to try that. I'd have to probably put something in the wing tip just to kind of um, anchor down. So that when I do toss it out that way, uh, the way they do the uh, discus launches, it, it won't just tear out the wing. Right. Uh, and also recheck the way I've got the uh, the wing mounted into the piece of so that just doesn't come apart also. But this generally, I'll just do the old-fashioned toss uh, overhead type just to see how this thing does. I really love the look of it, man. And where you live in California with all the cliffs and stuff, you're, I think you're going to have a blast with this. Yeah, that that'll be really light for it'll be real nice for real real light breezes on the on the uh, hills and slopes of California, uh, but also uh, just in big area parks. It, it's a good way to train to uh, launch something this small, get up in the air, uh, if you can find a little thermal and just kind of thermal come and land. And basically, uh, you know, with the glider, you've got one shot to come and land, so you're committed, and I think it makes a better pilot out of you. Uh, I have yet to try it, but I have to say, man, it looks awesome. I look forward to yeah. building this if you release the plans, if you're able to. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'll get this thing flying, get everything tuned up, and uh, we're gonna probably put it out there on the uh, black boys. Very cool, man. Nice. Good job, Al. Good I like it. it it's Thank just, you. it's Thank really you. clean and nice looking. Yeah. I really like it too. Yeah, 
I tried to make everything, you know, I mean, this is all done by the MK3. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, designing this, you know, to help us design these projects, uh, makes our job a little more easier. Well, thank you guys for supporting it, man. I see that you, you're using gold thread there. What are you, Rich? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, that's uh, Kevlar. That and uh, I've, I've learned to use Kevlar in certain areas just so that uh, with carbon fiber booms, you can glue them together. The problem is that when they tend to hit, you may find uh, a bit of a, a, a snapping effect that may just jitter the, uh, the glue joint. So I just kind of wrap it just so it kind of prevents that. So, okay, so what, did you sand the, each side of the boom flat a little bit and then glue it? No, I actually just laid it uh, down together and uh, uh, make sure everything was parallel, glue them together, and then just go ahead and wrap the uh, the boom with the Kevlar thread. And I, it's kind of neat because when you wrap it, it starts to flatten out the thread. So it's actually wider than it looks, and it, it's really strong. Huh. It looks it's awesome. a very light I, way of doing I, I, it. I think it would be super strong. Yeah. Cool. There's the nylon nut you have in there. Awesome. Yeah, you get that nice thin uh, small 440 in there with the 164 ply on top just to you know anchor it down, get something to bite into. Well, I know you were a little worried about the strength of the boom. How far in did you go with the boom? I actually went in inside uh, three inches. Okay. And inside, I actually had another piece of uh, uh, bigger, uh, like a piece of spruce in there, uh, the wide as a fuselage, so that it actually sits on top of the boom, and I can, you know, kind of have something to anchor it down, plus the uh, right. thread, the uh, 440 through. Very cool, man. And all parts are cut on the flat printer 3? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> awesome, dude. Yep. All right, well, listen, Al, thanks for joining us tonight and giving us an update on this. We look forward to it. It's going to be really cool, man. Uh, and uh, I, I look forward to the maiden. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll get some uh, film on that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for bringing me on. Hey, thanks for coming on, man. Have a great night, Al. Thanks, Al. All right, thank you. Talk okay, to you later. Bye. See you. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. So... Hope you guys enjoyed that. I he sent me some pictures of that, and I was just blown away by. It. I couldn't believe the look of it. So we're looking forward to seeing that. We do. Uh, I see the 3D mon. Last thing on the chat that I see posted is 3D mon is saying that any 3D printer updates, and I will say that was on the list, but it's, it's we haven't talked. Trish and I haven't talked about it, so we haven't really worked everything out. But there's some exciting news we want to share with you guys, <laughs> basically. Yeah, so. it's 3D printer weekend for us, so we kind of need to, to roll our sleeves up, wrap our heads around all the details, and then get back to you guys on that. Yep. Just get organized with it uh, a bit. All right, so here's what happened tonight, or today, I should say. After work, we had um, the kids go through a couple of the Make magazines that we have laying around here, and Alex really liked this rocket glider. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I'm going to see if I can show the page of it. But if you see that, if you look close in the kid's hand, you can see that the glider has the wings folded up and he's launching it with a rubber band. And then, of course, it, it launches up and the wings come out. They unfold. So he said, uh, man, I'd really think that would be a cool project for the, here's the next page, uh, for the show, you know. So... So Will thought it was a good idea, too, and it's Will's turn for the show. That's why he's here. So we thought we would do it. However, we started to mess around with it, and we thought, you know, it would be really cool is a paratrooper. So we, um, I, I almost did, Sean. <laughs> um, That's all right. Go ahead. What? You can spell the names. No, no, no. I have to do it right. All right. Um, so anyway, we, we thought it'd be cool as a paratrooper, but I wanted to show you guys a little something oops, that they had. Uh, I got to go through these files and stuff first. Uh, it, it's actually based off an of old Jim Walker's um, American Junior Classic, and it's called the Interceptor. And Jim Walker actually designed these for the uh, for the war, so they could train. And uh, let me switch over to the 
I don't know why my u my uh, u stream keeps going away. What happened? There we go. So here's a page I found. the The Army interceptor goes to war. And it shows this guy actually launching it. And the funny thing is, is they actually shot them out of the air. They were using them for target practice. And they built this tripod launcher instead of the hand launcher. But they were using the same size planes. As far as I can read, I didn't get a chance to read the whole history of it. But um, I did find a video of an old guy that actually replicated this launcher from uh, just from pictures that he's seen on the online. It's real simple, and they use a bungee cord for the actual launch. I don't know if they did back then, but that's what the key was using. Randy, and it nice. does a great job. I mean, it goes like 300 feet in the air. So we thought this would be a really cool project. But they wanted to build a, a paratrooper. So we thought it'd be great to be able to launch a paratrooper up there, paratrooper up there. But at the same time, uh, let me switch back over to the camera. But at the same time, we wouldn't be able to launch him. Let me let me lower this so maybe you can see Roscoe, what he looks like. There he is. Hey, boy. He's part Malamute. He's got one blue eye, one brown eye. Which is just weird. Come on, guys. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, so they thought it would be really cool, but then we had the challenge of launching it. So we started thinking, okay, we can fold the wings up just like they fold the wings up for the... Uh, hey. You two knock it off. Oh my gosh. Just like they fold the wings up on the interceptor plane. So we decided to um, try to fold the parachute up, make an actual foam parachute, fold the whole thing up, and launch it. Now we knew that the when it opened up, we needed the weight to be at the bottom for the center of gravity so it would come down, you know, just like a paratrooper would. But at the same time, uh, you can't. We did a test. We, we thought, well, if we fold the parachute like this over top of the pilot and then launch them like that, it won't work because even though it seems like it would when it goes up, it, it won't work because the weight is too far up front. You'll launch them and it'll keep spinning around. And we did a few tests and a, a couple of videos, and I want to show you, share with you guys a couple of the test uh, videos we did. We made a couple mock-ups, and then we tried it out, and we finally got one sort of working. So... We figured, I, I hurry up and did a sketch up, excuse me one second, I hurry up and did a sketch up update and, uh, or uh, work up, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and try to put it together, and our main thing tonight with Will is to see if we can get the, um, the wing to actually snap open. That was what we kept running into problems with. Actually, it snaps this way. So, I'll show you the videos of the concept prototype one that we were working on. And... And then we'll take it from there. Um, what's that? Talking to Will. <laughs> He's picking his nose. What is it? <laughs> okay, test take one with Hold the. On. What is it? Not, they don't have them. What is it? On the screen. I know. What is it? What is it? What, what is it? I'll show you. There we go. <laughs> it's Alex. It is. What is it? Okay, test take one with the. Weight behind the parachute. It's going to try to do an arc. No good. So the kids are learning center of gravity here. Cool sling shot, Abby. Wait. Okay, well, you want to do it. You want to throw it as straight as you can. Okay, so whoop, what I'm... Pay no attention to that giant cooler in the yard. <laughs> what we're noticing is it's going to work better with the weight in the front. Okay, well, all right, Alex, take it this time, and this time throw it with the screwdriver first. We use a screwdriver for goes. weight. Wow. Much better. <laughs> okay, weight in the front. Let's try it. Okay, guys, let's head back in and put the weight on the front. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we're testing. You're just going to drop them, basically, once you get up there. Will's climbing to the top. 
Climbing. Well, hold your hand out a little bit. Sure. Oh, broke a leg. <laughs> and I'll come back when I am ready. Yeah. Probably. I see. Yeah, we did. And Will was right. Too much weight. Now it's recording. What we did is we added sticks here so that when it opens up, it will stop at a certain point. Changes. Like that. So now we should glide at that point. We also took all the nickels out and just put one. So we'll see. No, oh, jeez. All right, ready? Yeah. I'm going to have to go up there and do it. Okay. You're a back. <laughs> go. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. Bummer. All right. No way. No way. No way. No I think we take the weight off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, No nickel. It opened. It yeah. actually opened. <laughs> happy dance. There you go. Can we see the happy dance again? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> Okay, so you're back. All right, so that's the concept, and then of course we went looking for. Um, oops, let me go back over the screen. Then we went looking for pictures of paratroopers that we could put on there, and we found this guy. But we actually needed a side view, so we got this guy. He looks a lot better. And we just took the packs off the front, so he's flying without an emergency chute. So the plan is now to cut this sketch up out. Here's what we came out with. We took the paratrooper, we traced them, and we put a couple lines on here where we know things need to be. As you can see, we didn't trace the packs in the front. We just traced his uh, helmet and things like that in the backpack. And What's that? Sorry. So then we added a couple of things, and then we got a real parachute um, drawing, and we trace that out. So hopefully the contours of this will help it fly a little better. But we're 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 gonna. This is an experiment, you know. We'll have to move the center of gravity around. And this is the idea of the fold and glue two pieces of foam on here for the stop when it comes unfolded. And then this is what it looks like together. And these are the cutout pieces. I actually added a double um, soldier and I routed a line straight through the center of them. Hopefully it won't be too wide, but the idea is that we could put a piece of uh, bamboo skewer or something in there just so he doesn't snap. I mean, every time we drop them, and he, if it doesn't open, it snaps them. So hopefully this will help. And that's the plan. So I say we get busy and we cut this out and we tape it together and see how, if we can use rubber bands to get it to unfold properly. Sounds like a plan. All right. Can we move the table? Um, we can move the table. Um, you don't have to move the table, no. All right. So we do have to get foam, though. We do we have to get one foam. sheet. We need one sheet. Will, do you want to grab that sheet of foam right there? I'm not sure if that's a... And I, I want to use a decent piece of foam because I'm tired of this up there. Decent piece of foam. Not the green stuff, the white stuff. Uh -uh. Model plane foam. Uh -huh. By the way, Mike, Crash, if you're watching, I've got your sign almost done, but uh, 
I really didn't like the way I had to use a marker to get in the back to get close enough to the lettering. So I'm going to get a paint uh, brush and paint that black. That's the last piece. It's the only one I saw in there. No, there's a whole box. Where? Right over there to the right. But that's all we need. Okay, here. Well, you want to put this in there? Okay. So anyway, I got to paint that, Mike. So sure. sorry for the delay. Um, I wanted to get that to you Shaw. over the weekend. All right, so we're we're using CNC USB. We got the flat burner. We're gonna pull this out. Yeah, good idea. Show. You guys, I just went through and I couldn't find my carbon brushes. So I ended up replacing my my uh, spindle motor. Oh, yes. Thanks for the reminder. So, I got some junk on this pit. Let's we'll see if we can get it off. Oh, you know, it is paper. Oh. It's cutting poster board. Huh. Oh. You know, well. Was that Alex's, I want a Pepsi hand signal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this was my... Sure, Alex. That was your Whatever words. you want. And then there was the... Turn bathroom light out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get this started and... Um, I guess as it comes up, well, we'll just wait to get it done. So you might want to turn your volume down a little bit. We're going to get this cutting. It makes a little bit of noise. <laughs> Yeah. 
I wonder if I should have doubled these edges on the screen. Because, you know, when they go against the wing, they need to fall. Just like the other one. Uh, if I do need to do that, I'll go through it and I'll use my hand jump for a bit. This is a 10% cut. Look how nice that is. All that cut is for us to help you figure out where to line up the Oh, I have to 
out of the way, bro. Try to park it in there. Drop it. Going out. By the way, you guys that are using CNC USB, yep, what? you guys that are using CNC USB might have noticed that the number, excuse me, the number codes have changed on the keypad. It used to be page up, page down, and even some of these have changed, some of the arrow keys. But you can quickly get used to it. Now it's plus and negative. And don't forget, over on the software, you can always use these job keys. The smaller ones will jog a 32nd of an inch. So I usually jog it down close and then I'll use that. But there is a way, as far as I can tell um, from looking into the scan codes, you could go in there and actually reassign the keys to the, what you want. Hot keys. I just haven't figured it out yet. So we will. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's a way. Do you have um, the duster bed? Yeah. You might want to hit that. That looks awesome. Hey, you know what? I forgot something. What? I had I had a line here to cut this off. I must not have been in the actual cut area. Let me push wow, this. this foam dust really nice. Better than that bro. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna have to raise that sign up a little bit, you know? Keep hitting it. Nice. Can you see that real quick? Thank you. This is how you get the blade out. Push it down. Slide it in. You gotta slide it all the way in until it locks. You have to be careful when you slide in, you cut your finger. Okay. Save it. Alright, so you know the routine, right? Go through, cut the yep. bridges off. Easy. Be careful. And. Easy peasy. Alright. We do have another knife there if you want to help. You can just pick up, pick it up and just do yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it works perfect. What? Came right out. Yeah, I know. It has to be on. Want me to help you? Sure. Will do. Boss. Okay, you have to have it close to the part. You're the Uncle boss Mark now. needs little pads on the parts. It's curtains. This is the good foam, man. Let's see. There you go. There it is. I didn't use the good foam for Alex to show. Yeah. That's well, this isn't the extra good Kidding. Thing. This is this is the mid-grade foam. No, I think this is the top, top notch. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good foam. I like it. Oh, this one's nice. Alright. Oh, sorry guys. Let me turn this down. You really can't see what we're cutting out, but we'll hold up some parts when we get them out so you can see them. For instance, the soldier, paratrooper. She looks cool though. Mm -hmm. He is officially not getting picked up on the camera. No? No. Too white. Really? White? Bleaching them out? Mm -hmm. Well, you want to slice like this. Okay. Slice, slice. Look, you don't want these little uh, tabs to stay oh, yeah. on the part. Kittens. 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 <laughs> there you go. No, nope, that's trash. This, these are trash. These inside pieces. Oh, those are inside pieces. Yep. Oh, so there's a This is kind of like the strength. We might have to add some tape to these, you know? We don't want these to break off. But, once again, this is a prototype. I just wanted to cut it out of something nice. Something to look nice, you know? 
Go like this. Put it down in front of it. Get slide. down. Get down. Put it down in front of it. Just like that. Oops. You got the rest? Make sure it's good. So, so tricky. <coughs> I have no idea how this goes together. It's pretty straightforward. Well, you're at work all day, that's why. I'll show you how it goes together. Actually, look at this. Look at this picture. It shows you exactly how it goes together. The black in the middle is the bend. It's just the bend um, one. Our just the bend one. So I put this across here to see, you know, if we can make this a stretch point. We're gonna have to test the rubber band part, of it, you know. Are these little piece, square pieces keepers? Yeah, they're keepers. Those are. Those are the only small pieces. This can go. And then, you know what else we need? Watch your fingers, Will. Uh, we need a bamboo skewer. So big. This one's just a big one. Maybe I get small. Yeah. Do we have the we um, one. extension cord for the hot glue? Well, you know what? We don't need it that much, so we won't use it. Reaching in. Just reaching in. Looks like a big one too. Well, that one fits perfect. Now, it's only supposed to get halfway. It's just long. It could stick right in the ground. <laughs> if you had it, um, is it, if it was okay. metal, it could. Oh, we'll leave a little bit. Sorry, everybody. I want all the other glue. We're crack gluing. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Well, you should be hot gluing. Where'd you go, man? Okay. Where were you? Oh, yeah. Checking something up, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to hot glue. We're going to, um, hmm. Hang on one second. I'm, I don't know if we're going to be able to see through here, so I'm going to put a mark on there with my magic marker that's disappeared. Which one? Let's use this one. I was going to say which one. All right, so let me put a mark on this guy. This is how we're going to know where to. If this is going to show up, yeah. No, I need you to Do. glue this guy together. Okay, together. See, I'm putting these holes here so we know where to line these up. We don't have a good solution for that yet, but we're thinking about using these little red straws that we get as coffee stirrers for the pivot points. But right now, for this prototype, we should just tape it. Tape Look, it? that goes together good, man. Tape it? Yeah. Well, we will tape it. And I have a rubber band we can use. I need you to glue this. Just put some glue all over here. Yeah. Kind of. Actually, let me put this on a higher temperature. Um, no, hold it flat, like up like this. And then just go all over real quick because it dries fast. And we'll stick this together. Make sure you go around the backpack, around here, his arm up here, around his head. Get his head real good. Even even in the middle of the backpack. Get his foot real good. And back where your finger is. You can get on the stick too. Go ahead, quick. Squeeze this go for us. All up in here again. Okay, good. Stop. Stick this together. Now squeeze that down. Watch your fingers, don't get in that hot glue, it'll hurt you. Put a hurt line on them. Okay, 
right there. Actually, we want to use on that one. Let me spread this out. It's actually going to be really strong now. Okay, you press this down over here. See if we can get this to collapse. Okay, go for it. He wants to come with you. There you go. He's going to be heavy in himself, Will. Sure. I was thinking we are going to have to add some weight in here. But, um, one, so. I don't think so. The stick adds Jesus. some weight. Yeah, it does. The stick adds some weight. Okay. That stick plus we got double foam there. Yeah. Alright, now looking at the picture. Yeah, and the glue. Looking at the picture, what we really want to do. We can't bend it like too far. Because there's going to be things in the middle. That's actually going to. You know what? We're going to have to. I mean, if we want to do this properly, we're going to do this properly. Uh, eventually, we're going to have to have a strip here. Because, Abby, you, Abby, I'm going to have to take that game away. Out of control. Okay, now there's a, a proper way to do this too. It's got to go towards the front. We need a little bit of the weight towards the front, which let me double check how I'm doing this. That's not it. There. You could add a string to keep the wing from popping up to the, to the helmet. That's a good idea. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My thing's cut off. You could add a string to keep the wing from popping up middle of the wing to the helmet. All right. Uh, G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. You know what? I was right. Like we're going to have to wrap these out. We're going to have to cut these off. G.I. Joe. You know what? To cut those off more. How many hours did the brushes last? Brushes? Uh, they, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, actually, then it says, uh, duh, it just struck me. You were not talking about the spindle motor brushes, but the foam dusting brushes, right? No, I'm talking about the spindle motor brushes. You know, it comes with another uh, pack of them when you, in the uh, toolkit. Which I just put away right there in the front. front. These? Yeah, it comes with these brushes. Um. We're talking about the flat printer three spindle, the the motor. Sorry. Stock. Um, uh, yeah, the stock motor that comes with it comes with these carbon brushes, and there's some flat head screws on the back on each side of the motor. Unplug it first, of course, and then pull the old ones out. Stick these new ones in. It'll work like a dream. Hey, you should get the paratrooper this. It's a it's a gun. What we need, and I can't find it, is your Where is my angle cutter? Can you put it in here? Oh, uh, yeah, second drawer. Second drawer? There you go, right there. Oh. <laughs> if it was a cotton mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ain't right. Whoa. It's funny. Now look, we're cutting these angles. Hopefully this will be enough of an angle. It might not be, but it'll help either way. I'll do it on like that. Hopefully. Alright. Um, did I do that right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I hope so. We hope so. This is your build. Um, yeah. She does. Right. Can you guys? Abby likes to take her out. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll be right back. Take Randy out. So much. Okay. 
Let's Such see. Uh, for you guys that don't know, we'll sing a song that we <laughs> saw this funny video for. So Maybe we can play it at the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> be pretty, pretty crazy. All right. Hold on, Will. I can't cut the drink, man. Uh, to make sure that this is going to work. I don't know that we really needed to tape it. Maybe we should have done it this way, Will. See these little plus signs? Yeah. That's where I hope to put the rubber band. If we stretch it that far, it should snap right in. So I measured the rubber band and made it twice the width of it. All right, let me start taping and see how this goes together. Is the paratrooper going to have eyes and stuff? Jenna, draw them on. Uh, eye right there. Mouth. Mouth. Eye right there. Mouth. Which is just a line. Sorry, Roscoe. They went out. You have to stay in more. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Draw is a chin strap. Here, let me see something. I should give him a mustache. You can draw around the edge like this. That looks pretty cool when you do it. Yeah. Okay, I got a bunch of Sharpies in there. You can do that while I'm working on this. You want more colors? Sure. Camouflage. Help yourself. Shell. See, there's a little gap there. It should be okay though. So the idea was to add this back here. See if this is going to work. This is the concept. I'm trying to keep it light. And I'm adding glue. Make it heavier. The, uh, hey Gary. Is Gary SpongeBob Snail? Is what? SpongeBob Snail. No. Yeah. Gary, are you SpongeBob Snail? That's what Will wants to know. It's one of the flat boys. So then, this is the idea to help, you know, interlock these two when it opens. And it works pretty good so far. Doesn't have to really withstand a lot of weight or anything. You need to open one. Sweetie! What is it? What is it, sweetie? Call sweetie a boy. <laughs> The wind resistance is this way. Should work. Let's see something. I like the idea of this flying off here.
how the gun works. Oh god. How's it? How many strikes? Oh man. You're a really good artist, Will. I know, right? Want to brag about it? Oh, anyway. Roscoe, stay in this house. Sure we're doing enough right. And we are we have little notches into the tips of the wing here that I'm hoping will help. I hope that acts like a hinge. I think if I tape both sides it will. Definitely have to tape it while it's flipped like this. It's a zombie on both sides? Yeah. Well, this one I'm making a But I didn't play. What about his uniform? Oh, Alright, sorry. Here, I'll draw where the backpack is. It's okay. Thanks for doing it, babe. Mm -hmm. Are you going to add... Uh, hmm. Camber? Camper? Camper. Maybe? We could. So it stays straight as it's flying. What kind of progress did you make? This is arm. We're doing pretty good. That's basically it. So you can draw. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah, it's an zombie. Of course, I did. Alright. Do you, really, do you really think we're going to kill a human? Zombie paratrooper. Because it's a special bummer. That's all right, true. All right. That's why we use zombies. They just get right back up and we try it again. <laughs> Brandy, right. behave. Hey. Did she get a bathroom? Oh. No. Not even close. You just wanted to make Roscoe jealous because he was like eight minutes. No, Abby and Alex were like distracting her the whole time. Mm -hmm. Then it got to the point of, go to the bathroom! And there was no way she was going to. Got to that point? Got to that point right there. I'm, in, I'm out there missing the show. That's true. Yeah, we're just having fun. Did we just mess up? No. We're just in here building stuff, that's all. Look how big this is. Huge. Now this part I'm real happy with how it goes together. Yeah. Adds a little. Huge. Yeah. Okay, let me put a piece of tape across the top. Let's try tape. Now, are you done yet? No. What kind of camera is that? It's my camera. <laughs> Christmas camera? No. Red and green. Alright, so here's the layout. Right here. The idea is that this will pop open once we get our rubber band on here, hopefully. we get this to pop open. We have an idea to stretch a rubber band from here to here and see if that will work. Let's do that now. Can I see that rubber band? Sure. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we'll go from here to here. Getting us to stay here is going to be fun. I like to use like a couple bamboo skewers. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's what I heard. 
I heard it was too. Look, will it close? Yes, it will. So we'll close these in here and here. These will be our pegs. Get it, got it, good. Wow, I had way too much glue on that one. Oh, I'm right oh, through the table. Yeah. Right through the table. Into the table. Hey, a little piece of tape, babe. Can you help, help me with that? This kind of tape? Yeah. I'm just going to put it right over that hole. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Smells like it's made delicious. So oh, easy. Do you need another one? We're going to need another one over that hole. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The glue is just way too hot. It's on high the whole time. Give it a Where's that little pig? It's the little pig. Ah, yes. Will saves the night. Good eye, Will. Good eye. Thanks. Oh, you scrap. And then I'll go, whoops, I'll go through and uh, glue that a little bit more around these edges. I don't think it's going to hold a little bit of glue. There's going to be some serious tension on that. I was just going to tape them. Probably would have been better. I had to get fancy. Fancy pants. They're going to need some time now. Yeah. <laughs> you know your name? What is it? Fancy pants. Fancy pants. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get this off under the air conditioner. All right, well, the time has come. What? Uh, we're going to need that zombie real soon. Freddy, be nice. Let's get out the box, out the box. Take the iPad. Take the iPad now. Still talking. This guy is all the this side. This side. Oh man, you know what? Uh, we should have hit. Well, we can do that. Okay. Big holes. Fix the holes here. Just so it fits through there, you know. I'm actually going to make bigger holes of us. No, I don't think that was that. A little bit bigger. We'll just work our way bigger. He's all start out from the um, pre test. From the bet. <laughs> from the what? Uh, pre test. He broke his leg. That one isn't going to break its leg, though. Nope. Is it strong? Yep. His boots seem to be like brown or something, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. I have light green. Uh-huh. You're still wet? No. And yes. Still wet. How can that still be wet? It was a lot. That one's pretty strong already. 
put the whole thing in the freezer. Oh, yeah. not lined up perfectly. Yeah, that happened. I have no idea. Oh, because we just moved them. Sorry, we can make these bigger. What I can do is in the in the final design, I can cut this out maybe, or actually just tape the rubber band like I was going to do. I think we went a little overboard with that. That's not going to fit. Right I just want to try. Go it's for not going to fit. <laughs> Try to make holes for the pegs to go through. We didn't really account for these pegs. So. What you making? Hmm? What you making? A, a paratrooper that unfolds. And Dad. hopefully, we're going to build one of those launchers. He's also a zombie. He is a zombie paratrooper. You can share the camera. I'd like to see that. <gasps> Yeah. Good job, bro. There. Yeah. Why is it when we get loud, Abby gets loud? She just <laughs> she's here's an opportunity. Oh, yeah. Right, she head scream, she will. Is that how it works? Yep. This foam is nice, man. I'm not going to squish it outward. That is right out. Are you recording? Yeah. Let me see. That's good, Will. All right, let's hook him on. Let's hook him on. This is my side. This is the front, so we're. We have to look for these holes we made. One's right here. I, I made a couple of holes just so we could draw a line across there. And we would know where we need to take this to keep it even. He weighs pretty good. We don't know if we're going to need weight or not, but if we do, we can always. It's pretty much a lot of it. weight with just that. Just a lot of that. It is. Well, I think you completely have the concept of this down to science. He it does. It's cool. We were out there throwing it. It was awesome. So this is where I would have really liked to use uh, the straws. Little straws here. And then the wire bent through. But I haven't figured it out yet. So for now. This it's just still a product. That's true. Will it work? That's the question. Yes. Like, will... It worked. Right. Well, obviously it's going to work. Why would you say that? Because if I say it's going to work, it's going to work. That doesn't need a tag on anymore. It doesn't? Mm-mm. Just go on. I wish it did. Because then I would say everything will work. So there he is. Check him out. Drop it! <laughs> well, that looks drop. cool. Oh! What in the world? It actually did go. Don't you Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think. You want to try it? Let's move this table out of the way. Hold on. Pull those pegs up, man. Kick this thing. Where's the camera before you do this? There we go. Let's move the table over here. I got it. Hello. Okay, you stay there. Wait, I want to get a picture. Okay. Before we break it? Yeah. <laughs> Here, will you hold it? Because this will be, come around this way, maybe. Or I right. Let me get out of your way. Nice. One more, one more, please. <laughs> nice. Uh, can you put it down a little bit? Uh, Here, I want to strengthen this up a little bit. Oh. 
Oh, sorry, babe. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Right. Hold on, let me. Let's see if the guys can see this one. My back. At least I know you got my back, babe. I got him, I got him, guys. Hold oh, on. Well. You lift it up a little far. Uh, definitely gonna need some weight, I would think. What? You're gonna have to add weight. Why is that? Everybody thinks. Nine one one wants one. These guys, they know what cool. they're talking about. Well, I don't think we need that weight. I know, but you don't fly airplane every day. Wait, don't bend this. Okay, hold it up in the center, and then you want to step back there. Hopefully, it'll come to you. Pull it up real high and then drop it in an angle. Just right? drop nose it. For, yeah. Tilt the nose down. Keep tilting down. Okay, try that. Just drop. Yeah. Whoa! It worked. Yeah. That was like perfect. Sure was. Let's try it for the ceiling. You ready? Wow! Oh, oh wait. You know what? I'm going to try something. Yeah. Bend the flaps down a little. Time to hit. No, that was impressive, guys. Ready? Yeah. Now oh. fly it off the roof. Roof? Yeah. <laughs> the roof. I think they're right. Well, I think we need weight. Because even with these flaps down, as much as that, which is a lot for something like this, it's still doing. Uh, it's still doing this rock, rocking thing. Let's see if you have more weight here. That would be minimized. Let's see. See? It's gonna come but right you know to what? Me. The thing is, if we were able to launch this thing up as high as we want to launch it, which could be super high, could be super high, then Don't that's go, like you're saying from the roof. We'll see what happens. It might do that first, and then it might just start circling around because we can change these flaps and make do it that off your Empire State. Do circles. That'll do. That'll go forever, never, never. You would find it in not enough forward momentum. CG's a little too far back. I tried moving CG. him real far forward. I don't know if they can see that, but... Yeah. Got nice okay. But maybe if we put some weight right here, you know, put a, a couple... Yeah, because it's not yet the... Let's do that, Will. Give me a second. An AZ pilot said 3D print out the guy. Yeah, that would add some weight. That would be cool, too. Yeah. Okay, so, What's that so I've added the rubber band, so hopefully we can get them to open up automatically. I don't know if it's, it's in the sure. right spot or not. Maybe not. Let's see. Might need it tighter. It will, it will snap. If you give it up. And so if he was up in the air and he started coming down, I think it would snap into place. Maybe. You hear it, you feel it snap much. It's hard to hold. I heard that. You might need the um, rubber band tighter. Mm -hmm. Just a smidge tighter. It's actually, it yeah. actually does snap. You know? It does. It snaps on the place. Which is cool. <laughs> we should go outside and do it right now. The phone's white. Dark. The phone's white. Yeah, we could try it. Well, I can't take the camera out with you, though. Here's the thing, Will. If this gets up in the air and air starts getting under here, it's going to start to lift this up. Now, the only thing that's going to make it actually, you know, drop down is if this guy's heavier. And then the air is trying to hold this up. This guy's heavier. I think you would have a nice glide path at that point. Might not even need that rubber band, Will. Yeah, it was better the first time. Without the rubber band. Or maybe a rubber band not as... Or maybe we'll move these pegs in a little bit so it's not as tight. You know? That'd be cool. Alright. Let me go get... Pretty good. Let me go get... That paint. is awesome. Like I said, we don't want to make it too heavy, right? Yeah. Brandy, catch it. Hold on, we'll be right back. You don't trust me, Gerard.
Wow, it looks really different from this angle. Over there it looks real gliding. Over here it looks like yeah. it's gonna it's it looks like it's just gonna hit the ground. Mm -hmm. Check out my awesome piggy bank. Yeah. That's all? Whoa. That's I have a bigger piggy bank. Yeah, no, no, you're right. That's right, I don't have a piggy bank. You don't have a piggy bank? I don't have a wallet. All the piggy banks you've gotten over the years and you don't have a piggy bank? Yeah. Every time. What happens every time? It's my feet. Is it rocking back? No, no really. I can't really see from this angle. All right, let's try. I have a, I have a um, nickel here. Let's try put that. Oh, it's nice. Let's see how that works. Is that better? Same spot. Does it look better though? Hold it way up there. Yeah. Oh, that's working way better. That's a nickel on the foot. Hold it up there. <laughs> Almost hit our end. Nickel on the foot. Ready? Oh, rock back. I think I. Old nickel foot. Old nickel foot. Now, this is from way up high, too, so. Okay, it's rocking back. I, it. I want to see something, just out of curiosity. What would happen if we take the nickel off the foot and put it up here? Hmm. Just out of curiosity. Probably. Ready? Yeah. Much better. Did you see that one? Yeah. yeah, that was nice. Can I give it a little push? Try. Whoa. <laughs> Try it again. It doesn't work. Yeah, but you, you kind of want like this. Ask you number one said, told you. Up high, too. Go like this. Straight out. It, it'll do its own flying. Perfect. Wow. And that's oh, that's oh, the oh. secret right there. If you do it off of the roof, it'll go. <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get try it. We'll be right back. I'm going to videotape it. You can, you can play it right away? Sure. You can, right? Yep. Why? Yeah. yeah. Hold on, guys. We're going to go out and try to do this. And guys. we'll be right back with the camera. We're going we're gonna to show the video. We'll have one of the guys spot it with the flashlight. It'll be cool. We need the flashlight. Sweet. It's going to be awesome. I know. Right? We can try all the different coins. I think this is all we need. Let's make them on the front. So... What does that tell us? Our center of gravity needs to get back some more, which is kind of hard to believe. That's true. You have anything? I do, but we don't need it. We can bring it with us. But I don't think we need it. All right, we'll be right back, guys. I'll bring it with us. He's already outside with the flashlight. Yeah, watch out. Hey, bring him.
No, they can't see it. We have to download it off our. Uh, so they're just watching like stuff. Yeah, they're waiting for it. All right. Well, we have some news to report. It was pretty darn cool. The first video, I didn't have time to delete it. Watch it, Brandon. Watch it. Oh. All right, so we have the video. We're going to show you guys real quick. Brandon, knock it off. What is wrong with you? I think our phone was ringing while we were away. Really? Oh. It was your mom. What? Watching the show. They are? She's probably like, where are you going? Oh, your mom. I thought she was talking about her mom. I thought so. Okay. Brandon, you want to go? Okay, so this is at night. Where's the other one at? There's only one video? Uh, Two videos. There's one. Yeah. Oh, it's still, still down there. Right. There it is. The second video is the good one. That's the one. That, okay. Why wow, the first one's that good? Well, you could play it. It just it didn't fly as good. It just went. Yeah. Yeah, the first one didn't, but then we added the penny, so let's put that on there, too. Okay, so here's the first video. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. Thanks. Okay, there's the first one with just the nickel. And then here's the second one. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty darn good. That was good. Come on, look, pretty nice. It looked like it was about to rock. Try again. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Because you can't tell. All you see is the white thing. If Alex didn't flash the flashlight on me, it would just like have the white thing yeah. and then just stop. That's true. That it would go cool. to mid darkness. Dude, it's really cool. So we ended up adding. The penny. the penny and the weight of a penny and a nickel to the front here and it worked really good and that is basically with I moved the flaps down just a little bit but it didn't need it really didn't need it so now the challenge is going to be strengthening the connection point between the strings and the man um, using the man's feet as the actual launch point so we want to be able to hook our whatever we're going to hook on here, rubber band or something. And th that means that these have to be strong enough so that we can do that. And then launch it up. Hopefully when it reaches the apex, the it'll kick open. And it'll come down like a glider. Right. And we can even add a couple little, if we wanted to tilt this down a little bit, or up a little bit, sorry, to turn. Maybe we can make big circles, you know. All right, well, I guess that's pretty much it, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, I did have one other thing I wanted to show you guys I thought was pretty cool. Do it. In technology. Just do, do, do it. Sorry. Um, I saw this. It's a mechanical insect hovers with print wings, 3D print wings. So it's just, um, it's almost like it works like a hummingbird, I would guess. Here, what can you hold that? So just stand over there, nice. and 
Okay. So I'll put the link in there because we didn't really have time to get into it, but it looks really cool. And and it's and it says that it can hover. I don't know. Obviously these things they are really cool, but you never actually see them working on the, under their own power because they're so light. They're usually tethered with a couple wires going out to a separate power supply. But still, the concept is really cool. And maybe when battery technology catches up, we'll be able to use these uh, in the real world. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it. There's Paratrooper. Thanks, Will, for joining us. Really good job. Here, let's move over. Good show, everyone. Have a great night. God bless, and thanks for joining us in the Flat Lab. Bye. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Thank oh, you. I wanted to show you that video. Sorry. Oh, video. I told the kids I would play this video. Which one? I oh, don't know. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. We'll end it with a funny video. <laughs> guys, listen. Listen to that. Stick uh, with us, guys. <laughs> If I can find it, give me a second. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's pretty funny. Can you find it? Working on it. Randy, be nice. Be what, nice. What is Roscoe doing to you? He's just standing there. <sighs> but he's like, just in case. <laughs> um. That's not it. Sorry. It would have to have um, chicken in the name, wouldn't it? No. It's a, it's a name of a song. Here it is. It's called O Fortana, the misheard lyrics. So the, this is... Um, <laughs> They'll get it right away. It'll be real obvious. Yeah. All right. Hold on one second. Give me one second here. Yeah. Um, here we go. Again, Will. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thanks, Take Al. Take care. For being our uh, guest. Thanks, White. As well. Yep. Thank you, Al, for Thanks, being our Mike. guest. All right, guys. Have a great night. Good night, everybody. See ya.
Did you wave? What? Did you wave? No, I was being a monster to play. Oh. <laughs> okay. Access denied. Server admin status revoked. Your connection to the server has been terminated. See you soon.